Gilda Etifano and welcome to the beach laden forests of the Flora Valley here in Kahurangi National Park. Out for a hike today, an overnight adventure and I don't even know where I'm going to spend the night. Could be Salisbury Lodge, could be Balloon Hut, could be Katamere Bend Hut, that's the aim. That's the rock from our side, yeah? As the roof. Another boulder being used as a roof for that double bed there. Crazy place to spend the night. This is the end of the forest, just like that. Trees go, had enough, grasses go, oh hey. This adventure began at the Flora Car Park, elevation 930 meters. I had swiftly hiked the Flora Valley and made the climb up Balloon Creek in good time, leaving me convinced I could go all the way over the divide and reach the west coast's Kadamea Bend Hut. We rejoin the trip as I emerge on Salisbury Open. Welcome to your new terrain. The mountain tussock lands. Climbing up now to the plateau. Come on there. That's Gordon's Pyramid that is. This sign here marking the spot where Salisbury Hut stood from 1928 to 1975. Nearly managed 50 years, didn't it? Nearly. Here on this uh, awesome plateau. It really is just wonderful up here when the sun is shining. Beautiful windy day like this as well, so a bit of air conditioning as you walk. Now left that beautiful tussock plateau and I'm making my way up a slightly more wooded area known as Starvation Ridge. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. I feel a bit hungry since getting on this ridge. I've, I've done nothing but think about food. So I've been left with a decision to make. At the last signpost, it told me Karamea Kar Bend Hut was five hours from there and I had about four hours, 15 of daylight left as I passed that signpost. I've now got just under four hours of daylight left. So I could gun it and maybe make the hut, maybe. Probably arrive a little bit after dark, it's not the end of the world, I've got a head torch, a very good head torch. Or I could go for the comfort option and just go to Salisbury Lodge right now. Or I carry on and just find something else. There's some rock bivouacs, there's other huts up there. What do you reckon? Let's carry on. Adventure! Oh, the mud. Hey, proper windy out on the moors now. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me, it's blowing a gale out here. I've left behind the bluebird bay that was the Tasman and Golden Bay side, heading towards the grey cloudy muck that is the west coast side now. So, uh, some small good news though. Uh, it's barely been 45 minutes. Uh, since I passed the last sign two k's ago according to this this is I've now only got four hours to go until I reach the hut so I'm well on schedule if anything I've gained a bit of time in the last uh, like 45 minutes it's saying I've done an hour's worth of walking so awesome gonna smash on through I've now effectively crossed the mountain pass that separates Tasman Bay and the west coast Katamea River is down there in that little bit down there and although I've probably still got a, a few gentle uphills and a few little scrambles to get around into the valley, I'm not too far away now. I can see into the valley. I want hot chips. Nasty tussock. Two. Hold in the wall. Back into beach forest. Here we go. Here we go. Don't get this at sea level, do you? And we're in. Transition complete. That's the sound of Peel Stream making its way slowly to one of my two favourite regions of this country, the West Coast. That's right, we are well over the pass now. 
hill stream, runs into Kadamere River and exits at the township of Kadamere, the most northerly township of the west coast. Oh my gosh. It feels good to, to be over the divide, even if I'm not going all the way this time. Also, really beautiful trip. Look at that. I had to slow up for this bit, but the gradient of this track largely has been really good. I've been running down it. <laughs> I'm like a happy school child on the last day of term. It's been fun. And then along comes the bit where you have to edge around a, a high drop slowly. Okay, I'll come clean. Uh, I've nearly slipped off the side about three times so far. And I just said to myself then, I feel like you're using your nine lives up, um, which prompted me to record this because I, I feel like I should be up front with you. Yes, the running has almost resulted in my death three times and I've gotten away with it. I don't think I'm going to get away with it a fourth time, unless I do have nine lives. I'm not a cat. I'm a human, so you probably only get three lives, right? That's right. Humans get three lives. That's how it works in the video games. I'm not so worried about slipping off here. This doesn't bother me. Look, that's just a small, like... You wouldn't, you wouldn't be hard done by if you broke a bone falling off there. But the other ones, far out, <laughs> near death, pre near death, precipice. Can't speak, and rightly so. I'm concentrating on the terrain. Right. True to form, and completely ignoring my last video, I'm running. <laughs> Idiot. I think it's about time to enjoy the silence! It's not a wedi wedi kokako. It's a purple pouch, but I'll try and put my hand next to it. It's a good sized purple pouch. That is a nice specimen. Oh, just arriving at the rock shelter. That may or may not be open. Have a look, shall we? Well, it's already got 10 out of 10 for view. Hello. You know, if I only get this far, it won't be the end of the world. It's not a luxurious hut like the things off the Great Walk, but it's got a nice view out the window. The plastic window, of course. It's got one, two, three, four, five bunks and five mattresses. It's got some reading material if you want to just chill out and read Wilderness Magazine. It's here. Pots and pans, fireplace, table to chill, and a very, oh, Oh dear. I love that there's just the neck from a hot water bottle here on the floor. I bet that has a story to tell. Okay, 11 and three quarter kilometers. That's all we got to go on. Three hours. Used to be more than three hours. Used to be three and some hours. It's a lot easier these days for some reason. That's always good news. <laughs> you are not going to believe it. I just came around this bend flew around the bend and was on this beautiful downslope and thought I'm just gonna stop. I feel like there might be weri weri kokako in the vicinity. How weird because there actually is. Can you see it in there? Unbelievable. It's almost like I knew. It's like something was telling me. Stop! There's a weri weri kokako in there. Make sure you stop and see it. And now you're all seeing it. Hey, a tree! Another tree to cross. Just like Tadadur. All over again. It's not too bad. Too slippery to stand on there. Oof, survived. That is marble. There's actual marble just there in the ground. 
like a floor. <laughs> Try not to trip over while recording. We've just reached river level. The river's just there, Leslie River. On my right, gonna follow it on the true left. Down to the junction, that's where tonight's hut is. We have nine kilometers left. And I just checked a moment ago, 53 minutes of daylight left. Nine kilometers, 53 minutes, even on, even on the flat. I can only do seven in an hour. So we're gonna be finishing tonight's hike in the dark. Seriously, how lucky are we in New Zealand having stuff like this for us to just go and use? We've happened across a sign. Ooh. Kadamir uh, Bend, Kadamir Bend, eight and a half kilometers. Yep, pretty much what my watch says. Uh, it says two hours and someone has scrawled two into a three. Hmm. Shame. Oh well, we'll see what happens. We're doing it now, we're doing it. It's five o'clock, it gets dark in about 45 minutes and I have at least two hours of hiking still to go. It's gonna be fun. It feels very, very, very west coast now. This is rainforest central. Everything's wet, everything's damp. The forest feels not only virgin, but forever untouched. Apart from this track going through and the occasional log that's been cut up by chainsaw, this is exactly how it would have looked 100, 200, 500 years ago. It's just incredible. Magnificent place to be. The last 20 minutes of daylight. So I just wanted to show you how close I am to the river. And here you go, that's the track. This place is littered with absolutely mint camping spots. Oh! Dinner's served! Mm. Right, I need some water. the point in the piece where this has to come out this is the head torch super bright it's going to get me to the end very 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 dimly lit now well it's happened the sun did what it always does and set and left me in darkness it's okay though head torch is doing a good job i can almost see better than i could in daylight it's lighting up all the, the really horrendous obstacles. Anyway, we've passed 27 kilometers. 31 and a half is the goal. So, we're four and a half to go. A deer skull just scared that living daylights out of it. Kadamea Bend, hour and a half, it reckons, 4.9 kilometers. It's not so bad when you look at this sign. Batten Road End, 21 kilometers, two days. Out into a nice clearing. It'd be ideal to camp if I had a tent. Absolutely ideal. Fingers crossed, I can have my dinner at a reasonable hour, have a wash, and go to bed. As I just approached this tree, you see that white reflector? I thought, oh, someone stuck a piece of reflector off a bike or something on there. Nope, that is fungus. It's growing out of the tree, it's captured a load of water droplets that are reflecting like a reflector as you walk. How neat is that? Thank you. I've just clambered to the top of a, a small hill next to the river. You can still hear the river. And I wondered, shh, shh, can you see that? 
Yeah, no, neither can I. Just ticked over 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers today from Flora Car Park. We're within a, a couple of kilometers from the hut now. Of course, true to traditional West Coast style, it's raining. It's not heavy rain, very, very light. Barely penetrating the t-shirt, to be honest. So I'm going to carry on. We're about somewhere between a kilometre and a kilometre and a half from the hut. Guess what, team? The headlight battery officially just ran out. <laughs> ah, that's the problem with having a super high capacity battery like that. That lasts forever. Doesn't last forever, does it? Oh, silly. Very silly. That one's on me. Let's switch over to the emergency lighting. Emergency light fitted. On we roll. 600 metres. Let's do it. The terrain has got very easy. As is tradition when you're approaching a hut. And there we are. Found it. I had done it. In a nanosecond, under nine hours, I hiked from Flora Car Park to Karamea Bend Hut. Time to settle in and have some dinner. I even got time for that wash. Maria Etufano. After a pretty terrible night's sleep in the hut, I've woken up. It's just gone 7:30 a.m. The sun has risen, and we are ready for another day's tramping. In fact, we are ready to repeat what happened yesterday <laughs> in reverse. I'm going out. That's it. It's as far as we go on this trip. But it's nice to be on the west coast, I'm looking at the west coast anyway. This here is the Katamea River. This is where it meets the Leslie River, the river I walked along last night. Time to head on back to Flora Car Park, out of here. So long West Coast, thank you. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> 